Hey everyone, Ashton here from MuseThemes.com. Let's explore our new Image Mask widget for Muse. What this widget does is show an image behind a transparent image mask. Our first example here has a mask in the shape of the word hello, and when we click the image or the button here on the bottom right, we get this really cool zoom in effect which then reveals the image in full, along with a content panel here where you can place a bunch of custom text right down here. It's pretty awesome and adds a great deal of interaction and flair to your website. Now this is great for showing off portfolios, past work, future projects, and much more. You can use it in full width panels like we see here in the demo, or size the widget smaller for scaled down usage. In which case you could even use it similar to how you would use a composition that uses a target and a trigger. This widget is a great choice for building an entire page quickly by simply stacking several of these widgets one on top of another, which looks great right out of the gate and very engaging for the site visitor. If you recall our presentation panels widget, this gives a similar result, but a lot less time and effort spent to set it all up. It's also highly stable because it doesn't take over the page control like that widget did, or other past widgets like VersaSlide or PushyPanes. Let's jump over to Muse and take a look at how we set this thing up. Let's jump into our library and we'll drag the widget out onto our blank canvas. Now let's go ahead and set this to full width and we'll align it to the very top edge of the page. There we go. Now let's jump into the settings panel. First two options here are where we're going to load in our images. Now the first is the full background image, and the second is the PNG image mask that goes in front of it. Now any image can be used for the background image, but as usual, you're going to want to make sure the images are optimized for the web. If you use a lot of big files on the same page, it can start affecting your page loading speed. For image mask, we've actually included 45 sample image mask PNG files with this widget download, so feel free to use any of them for your site. And for all of those, there are both color versions and white versions included, giving you lots of versatility. And of course, you're free to create your own PNG masks as well. You'll just need to use a program like Photoshop or Illustrator. Let me load in some of my images. I've got some saved here from our live demo that I can navigate to, so I'll click Add File for Background Image. Great. Add that one in. And now let's add our mask. Awesome. And we'll set the panel color to match our mask, which in this case is 252525. Next options are mask width and height. Now these settings determine how big the mask will be here on the canvas. Now the panel size is of course determined by the size of the widget container. So you'll want to use the container size and the mask size to determine the size relationship between the image mask and the full panel. Panel color, this setting of course sets the color of the panel, and this is always best when matched to the color used in the PNG mask file. If you need to update the mask color to match your brand, just edit the image in Illustrator or Photoshop. Let's expand title settings. The text you enter here is going to appear as the title in the upper left of the unopened panel, as well as the title on top of the image when the panel is opened. I'll put something like My Latest Project. And let's make the font color white, since we already have a dark colored panel. And next is two font sizes. First is for the unopened title in the top left, and the second is for the opened panel main title. So let's drop both of these down just a little bit. We'll make font size 26 and open panel size 85. Perfect. Font family, feel free to add anything you like here. And I'll just go ahead and adjust this font weight to light. Awesome. Let's jump into content settings. This is where you'll enter all of your content text and set all of the content styling. Now you have three different blocks of text to work with here, and you can put as much or as little as you like in each content block. You can even utilize separate content blocks to create spacing between text blocks. For the sake of demo, I'm just going to leave the default text as is, but I will enable all three of these so you can see them all in action. And let's make the first one a brighter color, and we'll increase the size of this one too, maybe to 35. And let's make this one bold as well. And I'll just leave these other two as default for right now. Finally, let's jump down to button settings. We can enter the text here. I'll go with check this out. And let's make it smaller text, but a brighter color. Beautiful. Let's give all of this a browser preview. Great. We've got our images and text showing nicely, and we can click on our image. And our animation is working beautifully, and all of our content is showing up as well. 
So that's our image mask widget. Have fun with this and feel free to play around. Feel free to stack multiple one on top of another to make a full page of this if you want. It's pretty awesome, versatile, and intuitive. So thanks again for watching and don't hesitate to let us know if you need any additional assistance. Thanks again.